Hello, welcome to my class. My name is Sichahura and today is all about ionic equations. Ionic equations come from chemical equations. Now, if you don't know how to write a chemical equation, I'd suggest you check out my video that I'll be putting right up somewhere here. Yes, there. Then you're going to learn about how to write a chemical equation. So first step in writing ionic equation is obviously to write a balanced chemical equation like the one you see down right here. So this is the reaction between lead nitrate and sodium sulfate. This is a kind of a precipitation reaction. So it forms a precipitate which is a lead nitrate solid. Now, the next thing that you need to do when you're writing chemical equations is to check out for any aqueous solutions. So if anything has a state symbol of aqueous like this, lead, nitrate, sodium sulfate, and sodium nitrate, these ones, they need to be split into their constituent ions. For instance, lead nitrate uh, has lead ions and nitrate ions. And this number two here suggests that we have two nitrate ions for every lead ion. So let us see how it is. Just to narrow it down and make it very easy, you just write the symbol for lead ions, which is just like this. And of course you maintain that state symbol because it is very important. The next is to now go for the nitrate. Since we saw that there are two nitrate ions, we write two before the nitrate this time and not as a subscript like it was in the chemical equation up here. So we have nitrate ions like this. And then again, since sodium sulfate is also aqueous, we need to split it into sodium ions and sulfate ions. As you can see, we have a two down here. That means we have two sodium ions. So the two now comes before two sodium ions. And again, maintain the state symbol, which is aqueous. And then, of course, you proceed to the next one, which is the sulfate. And of course, you can see it here. You write it as sulfate ions, just like that. So we are done with the reactant side. So let's head to the product side. Now, on the product side, we have lead sulfate. This lead sulfate is in solid state. Anything that is not aqueous remains the same. Do not touch it. Do not interfere with it. So if it is solid, liquid, or gas, maintain it as it is. And then, of course, now we are left with uh, sodium nitrate here. So this is in aqueous state. So we need to split it into sodium ions and nitrate ions. However, when you look at it, we have a 2 before the compound. So it means that everything here is times 2. So we have two sodium ions and you also have two nitrate ions. All right, so you can see that. Let me just move it a little bit so that you can see everything. There you go. So now you can see the nitrate ions and the sodium ions and everything is nice and neat. The next thing is to look for what are called the spectator ions. These are spectators like the football spectators or any sport. You find that the spectators are in the stadium, but they do not play the game. So these spectators ions, they are just there. The reaction is taking place, but for them, they do not take part in that reaction. So they remain unchanged in both the reactant side and the product side. So let us see like this one. So have a look at lead. Lead ions was converted into lead sulfate. The same way the sulfate ion was converted into the lead sulfate. So these two ions are the ones that reacted to give us lead sulfate. However, if you look at nitrate ions, they remain unchanged in both the reactant side and the product side. You can see that. I, 
And so they are the spectator ions. We will cross them out like this. Then when we go to the next one, we look for the sodium ions. The sodium ions also remained unchanged and therefore they are still the spectator ions. So we cross them out. They never took part in this game. So whatever remains is our ionic equation. You just write it without the spectator ions that you crossed out. And that is going to be like this. So you see, you have lead ions. And of course, you didn't cross out the sulfate. And that one forms your ionic equation. It is as simple as that. So as you can see, in this kind of a reaction, it's known as a precipitation reaction, the lead ions and the sulfate ions are the ones that reacted to form the precipitate which is the lead sulfate. The ionic equation is a very simple way. So just to recap, first thing, you write the correct balanced chemical equation. And if you don't know about it, check out my previous videos. Then you look for anything that is in aqueous state, and that is what you split into its constituent ions. Then once you've done that, make sure that you don't split anything that is solid, liquid, or gas. Finally, you cross out the spectator ions and write whatever remains. And that forms your ionic equation. As simple as that. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you have learned something today, and see you next time.